your home for original reporting. On that Piper in New York, happening next hour, President Biden will address the nation for his first news conference in nearly a year. Beforehand, he's expected to tout his administration's efforts out this week to help with the COVID-19 pandemic. CBS's Elise Preston. The Biden administration is making plans to ship 400 million N95 masks to pharmacies and community health centers. They're coming out of the strategic national stockpile and expected to be available next month. Health experts say the better quality masks are needed to protect from the Omicron variant. The reason I like those is they feel better up here at the nose and when I'm working with the glasses it's a lot easier to see. <laughs> so if it offers better protection, okay, great. I'm willing to wear it. A grande change at Starbucks. Starbucks will no longer require its U.S. workers to be vaccinated against COVID-19. That reverses a policy announced earlier this month. The Seattle-based company says the move is in response to last week's ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court. It blocked the Biden administration's plan requiring vaccines or regular COVID testing at companies with more than 100 workers. Starbucks won't say how many of its workers are fully vaccinated. Jim Crisilla, CBS News. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is in Ukraine where he's been meeting with officials about the Russian military buildup along the country's border. He has this message for the people of Ukraine. The United States wants you to know this. As you stand up to efforts to divide, to intimidate, to threaten, the United States stands with you. Resolutely. Back here, the University of Michigan has agreed to a $490 million settlement with more than 1,000 people who say they were sexually assaulted by a former sports doctor during his nearly four-decade career at the school. The university had been in mediation to resolve multiple lawsuits by mostly men who said the late Dr. Robert Anderson sexually abused them during routine medical examinations. Attorney Parker Steiner. Hopefully they feel that justice was served and the university was held accountable and they can continue with their healing journey. Ford is recalling about 200,000 Mustangs, Fusions, and Lincoln MKZs because of an issue with the brake pedal. WWJ's Jeff Gilbert. A part in those brake pedals can deteriorate over time, and all of these vehicles are more than six years old. When it does go, the brake lights can remain stuck in the on position, and a system that requires you to put your foot on the brake before shifting is defeated. No reports of crashes or injuries. The man police say pushed a woman to her death in the path of an oncoming New York City subway over the weekend has now been arraigned on a murder charge. The Dow at this hour is down 146, NASDAQ down 41. This well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that heavy jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.